The legislature continued to move a bill forward that would impose some gun controls and beef up school security. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has the very emotional hearing before a key House committee. He's joining us from the control room with more. Gary. Well, the bill clearing a House committee today largely mirrors one passed by a Senate committee Monday. Among those testifying, parents of some of those murdered at Stoneman Douglas. My daughter was shot on the third floor brutally nine times. Andrew Pollock's daughter, Meadow, was among the 17 Stoneman Douglas murder victims. Pollock was among those urging lawmakers to enact stronger gun control than what's on the table. In Florida, we have the chance to stop it. And we have an obligation, because every other state in this country is watching Florida right now, what we're going to do. The measure racing through the Capitol raises the gun buying age to 21, outlaws converting rifles to fully automatic, allows police to seize weapons from people who've been Baker acted, and funds more school cops. It doesn't ban assault rifles. Which is a weapon of war that should never be in the hands of a civilian, no less a child. Linda Beagle Shulman's son, Scott Beagle, a teacher and track coach, was among the murdered. She pleaded for an assault weapon ban. It cannot be used for hunting animals because it basically destroys whatever animal it hits. Its only purpose is to hunt humans. An AR-15 assault rifle was used to hunt down and kill my son. The bill approved Tuesday allows for teachers to be trained and carry guns at school. A provision opposed by multiple speakers is dangerous. And it frightens me to even have some kind of notion of guns in the classroom or more guns in a school. Our nation's children deserve better. Max Schachter's son, Alex, was shot dead Valentine's Day. Schachter called the gun bill inadequate, but... While the proposed bill does not meet all of my goals, the components of the bill would have saved my little boy, Alex. And if we would have had these measures in place, I would not have to have buried my son next to his mother a week and a half ago. I saw everything. This Stoneman Douglas student recounted stepping over the bodies of murdered classmates, and she found the proposed legislation flawed, but a beginning. I believe this bill is a great start. Realizing that we all have to agree to disagree with some things, but it's a start to never let this happen again. The bill passed 23 to 6, only one Republican voting no. Well, the National Rifle Association went on record at that hearing against all of the gun control measures contained in the bill that's winding through the legislature. An NRA spokesperson calling them, quote, an attack on the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding people. In the control room, Gary Nelson, CBS 40.